than flying a fighter jet or a combat chopper while protecting the skies of the motherland. Well, this Women's Day, we bring you the stories and valor of some of the bravest women in modern era who never settled for anything less than the free skies. India was one of the earliest countries in the world to inject women into the Air Force. While women in several other countries were fighting for equal voting rights, women in India were training shoulder to shoulder with men in the Indian Armed Forces. You must have heard about Gunjan Saxena and Sri Vidya Rajan who proved their mettle in the battlefield in the Kargil War of 1999. They were among the first female pilots to be engaged in a combat duty in India. But before these brave women, there were several others who had fought their way into the Air Force and had established norms that would be unmatched not only by the Indians but by the whole world. So today, we are going to talk about few such women whose stories have not got much recognition from today's generation despite being so motivational. Vijaya Lakshmi Ramanan the first woman officer in the Indian Air Force was Vijaya Lakshmi Ramanan. Born on 27th February of 1924 in present-day Chennai, she joined the Army Medical Corps in 1955 as a surgeon. Later on, she was seconded to the Air Force as a gynecologist and then, in 1971, she became the first woman to be promoted to the rank of an officer. With the Indian Air Force not having uniforms for women officers at the time of her commissioning, she custom tailored a sari and a blouse with the Air Force colors that then became the standard dress code for women officers. After serving for 24 years in the armed forces, she retired as a wing commander in 1979. On 26th of January 1977, she was awarded the Vishish Seva Medal for Distinguished Service of a High Order by the then Indian President Neelam Sanjeev Reddy for her treatment of women and children affiliated with the Indian Armed Forces. Not only Vijaya Lakshmi, several other brave women played crucial roles in various counter-insurgency operations as well as in the wars against our neighbour Pakistan. In August 1966, Flight Lieutenant Kanta Handa, a medical officer, became the first female IAF officer to receive a commendation for her service during the 1965 Indo-Pakistan War. Padmavati Bandopadhyay As the years passed, the role of women in the Indian Air Force increased and gradually they even got promoted to the higher ranks. One such woman was Padmavati Bandopadhyay, the first woman Air Marshal of the Indian Air Force. She joined Air Force in 1968 and completed her Defence Service Staff College course in the year 1978, becoming the first woman officer to do so. Not only that, she was also the first woman officer to become an aviation medicine specialist, the first woman to conduct scientific research at the North Pole, and last but not the least, she was awarded the Vishish Seva Medal for her meritorious service during the 1971 Indo-Pakistan War. Flight Lieutenant Nivedita Chaudhary Flight Lieutenant Nivedita Chaudhary became the first woman from the Indian Air Force to reach the summit of Mount Everest and the first woman from Rajasthan to achieve this feat. It was in October 2009 that Chaudhary, an Air Force officer who had just joined the squadron in Agra, casually volunteered for the Air Force's program for women's expedition to the Everest. She, in an interview, told that she never knew that three years down the line she would do what no woman in the Air Force had ever done. The other women on her team, Squadron leader Nirupma Pandey and Flight Lieutenant Rajika Sharma also climbed the peak five days later. Deepika Misra In 2006, Deepika Misra became the first Air Force woman pilot to train for the helicopter aerobatic team Sarang. It was during a passing out parade at Air Force Academy in December of 2006 that Deepika Misra, then a flight cadet, first fell in love with the aerobatic displays of the Surya Kirans and Sarangs, Air Force's fixed wing and rotary wing aerobatic display team. When the Air Force sought women pilots to volunteer for the Sarang team in 2010, she grabbed the chance and was among the first to be inducted into the indigenous advanced light helicopter squad. On 15th of August 2022, she was confirmed with the Vayu Sena medal, becoming perhaps the first woman to back this prestigious award. The stories of women who showed exemplary efforts in the Indian Air Force cannot be included in a single video. And while we spend a normal day at home, more new stories are being created. However, these are not just any stories, but the real-life experience of some of the bravest women that any armed forces in the world have ever seen. And now, the Air Force has opened its door for women, even for its elite special force unit, the Garud. Although they will be parachuting down with men, but in fact, they will be climbing new heights with each paradox. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.